What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do something that uh, we've been wanting to do for a while because we get asked all the time, hey, so like, what's your favorite gear? So we thought that with the holidays coming up, we're all in this together. This is a full blown four alarm holiday emergency here. This would be the perfect time to share some of our very favorite things. These are things that we have tested. These are things we use on every single trip. And we're, we've got stuff all the way from like less than 20 bucks up to $500. So we got a wide array of things. And for the friend or family member or significant other in your life who's into overlanding or camping or just exploring the backcountry, some of the things we're gonna share with you, hopefully, will be uh, some good gift ideas. Yep. So let's get to it. And let's jump right in with the least expensive thing on our list, which is what? This collapsible sink, which I absolutely love because I, have several different uses for this. Um, one, it's collapsible, so it will pack down super small so that we can actually store it in the truck. And um, I use this as a sink. I also use it as a basket if I need to carry some things out of the truck, put it into our tent or to help set up uh, camp. This is super handy for that. And one of, I think, the um, best uses for this um, is a foot spa. <laughs> Most people are like, mm, I don't know. And then they try it and they're like, I like ending the day with a foot spa. For a two pack, uh, you can get it for about less than, $18. Yeah, less than 20 bucks. So. And like Christine mentioned, anytime you can get something where you have multiple uses for it, it's, it's a huge advantage because space tends to be at a premium. And so the fact that you can use this for like three different things is great. But I think really honestly, she's got this on her list mostly for the foot spa ability. I mean, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up on the list, let's go with, ooh, this is one of my favorites. This is a Yeti Rambler. This, for anybody who likes to have hot drinks with them, so whether it's coffee or tea or, you know, a hot toddy by the fire, this thing is incredible and I've become a believer. The reason I like this one is it has a trick up its sleeve and the trick is this lid. This lid is an absolute game changer. So basically the way it works is when you unscrew it, you can drink from any side. So you don't have to like find the little spot that you can take a sip from. If you're in the car, you're driving, you just grab this thing and you've got easy access. It doesn't spill. It does a great job of keeping hot drinks hot. This is right about 25 bucks. So $25 for this. This is a 12 ounce version. They do have a larger version too. But again, you like hot drinks on the go. This has replaced all my other thermoses and hydro flasks. And it's not just for hot drinks, it's for cold drinks as well. Sometimes we're out and we're in the desert and it's 100 degrees. So this is great for hot and cold drinks. And with the size, so this is a 12 ounce, yeah. it fits in the cup holder. Uh, I think the larger ones uh, do not. So this is nice because it fits and it's great. Love it. See, I, I, I told you that she just liked the collapsible sink for the foot spa. All I think about is coffee, but she's right. You can do cold drinks in it as well. So that's number two on our list. What do we got at number three? Uh, number three is going to be the Radiate Portable Campfire, which this, oh, the glare. This is something that um, was introduced to us by our friend Corey. We do a lot of overlanding and backcountry camping and for a good portion of the year, there's fire bans in a lot of the places that we explore, so we can't have a fire. And this portable campfire is, is great. Let's be honest, when you bust this thing out for the first time, all your friends are gonna make fun of you. <laughs> Man. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we gave Corey a terrible time. This is the most ridiculous, this is the dumbest thing we've ever seen. But then, all of a sudden, you, you start sitting around a fire and it doesn't throw off as much heat, obviously, as a normal campfire, but it throws off enough heat that you could roast marshmallows on it mm -hmm. if you wanted to. But it's mostly just the idea that you can have something that doesn't take a lot of space, right? This is super small, so this is easy to fit 
you know, in your vehicle. And if you don't have firewood or if there's a fire ban or you just want to sit around and stare at a fire, which I think honestly is a lot of times, a lot of the draw is just looking at the fire, then that's where this thing really excels. And uh, we've been pretty impressed. So yeah. we made fun of Corey a lot. Uh, and then of course, now we have one of these in our truck at all times. And how much is that? $28. 28 you can, that's for one. You can get a pack of two on Amazon for about $50. Yeah, and they are reusable too, which is nice. Yes. So if you don't use the whole thing in a given night, you can you can use it again. They're good for, you know, if you're using it for two or three hours uh, in the evening, we can usually get two nights out of it. So they're not super cheap, but again, it's more of a convenience thing. And uh, you don't see a lot of people using these or talking about them, but they're, they're pretty fun. So we thought we'd throw it on the list. Yep. All right, next up, we have Road and Recreation Atlas. This is by a company called Benchmark Maps. They're super detailed. I am a huge advocate just in general of having paper maps on you. So if you know anyone who is out and they like to explore in the backcountry, get out into the national forest, things like that, always a great idea to have paper maps. We all love GPS. We all love, you know, navigation and things like that through satellite, but it's technology and it can fail. PC load letter? What the fuck does that mean? And so it's always wise to have paper maps as a backup. So I like to have one of these for each state that we travel in and I just leave it in the vehicle. And if I need it, it's there, but they're super detailed and you can actually find a lot of interesting things and points of interest through these maps that sometimes I can't even find in Gaia. So uh, yeah, super handy. These are 27 bucks. So again, won't break the bank and makes a great gift. All right, what's next? One of my favorites is these power practical portable LED rope lights. Say that three times fast. I know, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite things uh, to bring because oftentimes we get to camp and like the only light source you have when it's dark is your headlamp or maybe a lantern. Uh, this is LED rope lights and I wonder if this will work, but. You get string lights, they're magnetic, so I can put this up on the truck. I will oftentimes line the truck on the side that the awning is on so that we have some extra light. Uh, makes camp look pretty cool. It also comes with these, I don't know what they're called. They're kind of like little zip ties, but not yeah. that sort of thing. Um, so that you can attach these to different things. And what's also cool is when you throw it all into the bag, you'll also have a lantern. They come in two sizes. I've got the five foot with the battery, and then I also have a 10 foot. And the eight foot is about $19. Uh, the uh, 10 foot is uh, 50, so highly recommend these string lights. All right, what's next? What do you have? Ooh, it's my turn? Mm -hmm. My turn, all right, I know what I got. Okay, so anybody who's done any sort of camping can tell you the importance of a good camp chair. And we have gone through a number of different camp chairs. We've gone through a bunch of different styles. And what we found is that these chairs, which are from Front Runner, these are by far our favorite chairs when it comes to comfort, but also packability. So these pack down pretty small, and that I think is the great part about them. For a chair that opens up and becomes pretty big and super comfortable, they don't take up a lot of room in the vehicles. And so we each have one of these chairs. They're 76 bucks, so they're not the cheapest chairs, but I think they're really well built, and for as comfortable as they are and how small they pack, they're certainly not the most expensive chairs either. Yeah, and really at the end of the day, like we spend a good portion of the day in the truck sitting, and so I think having a chair like our front runner chair that has good back support, it's not super tiny, um, it's, it's super comfortable, and I think it's worth every penny. All right, what do you got next? All right, so next up, is this GSI Outdoors Bugaboo Base Camper Cook Set. I absolutely love this thing because there are several things in here that we can use to cook. Uh, so, frying pan, 
There's two lids. Oh, this one's got a little pasta strainer, a little water oh, uh, yes. strainer there for pasta, if you can see that. But yeah, that's pretty nice too. Yep. It's got a little handle. Yep. It's got a handle so that um, we can use a frying pan. And it's got a couple different size pots. Yep. And the big pot has its own handles. Yep. Um, I love that um, these are all nesting. So they'll all fit into the big uh, pot here. There's a bag that it comes in just to keep it all together. This uh, GSI Outdoor Bugaboo Base Camper <laughs> Cook Set, uh, that's a mouthful. Um, this is about $125. Yeah, it's $125 I think is like the, the regular price. I did see when I was looking online that sometimes you can get them a little bit cheaper. They go on sale. I think when we got these, they were more like 75 bucks. So if you keep an eye out for sales, um, you can get them for a little bit less. But yeah, uh, again, super efficient with space. And, um, and yeah, it's always nice to have something that can serve so many purposes and doesn't take up a lot of room. Really, this is our entire cook set. Everything yep. that we need pots and pans wise is, is here. So what's next? All right, next up, we've got some tire deflators. These are from a company called Ston. They're very, very well known. These are about 99 bucks. You can get them on Amazon, other brands for probably you know 25 or 30 bucks. But there's a reason that I'm recommending these and there's a reason that these things have such good reviews. This is what they look like. Uh, now I've used different types of tire inflators over the years. I've used an ARB rapid deflator, which I still do bring with me and use from time to time. But what I love about these is just the ease of use. So when you get these, you just have to set them to whatever your desired PSI is, and then you just screw them onto your valve stem and they will deflate to whatever PSI you have set and then shut off automatically. So basically it's just as simple as going around the truck, screwing these in at all four corners. And then once uh, I've finished screwing in the fourth one, usually the first one's done. And then you just take them off and you're ready to go. As soon as I got these, I really haven't used the rapid deflator much anymore. Highly recommend these. So there you go. That's my next gift idea. I think we're on the last one. So now we've got our very last ones. We've saved the best or most expensive for last. <laughs> so if you want to splurge on that certain someone in your life, then these next two may be, uh, may be the ones for you. So I'll let you go first. What's your, what's your ultimate favorite thing? My ultimate favorite thing that I have for overlanding is the Tembo Tusk Scottle. It's something that I just got over the summer and uh, we've used it every single trip since purchasing it and I absolutely love it. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room and we can cook anything on it. Jeff has made coffee, I've grilled a steak. There are a lot of, a lot of different things that you could do on the Scottle that I haven't done yet. Uh, one of which is making cinnamon rolls. But yeah. I keep hearing you can do cinnamon rolls. I'm like, I, I want to see the cinnamon rolls. Yeah. I smell cinnamon rolls. So I love the Tembo Test Scottle. With the Scottle that we have, it's uh, $3.95 for the Scottle itself. I went ahead and ended up getting some additional accessories. So all in uh, for the Scottle and the accessories, it's about $500. I think another thing that's really nice about the Scottle is ease of cleanup. Yeah. Because those camp stoves get gross and you got to clean up, you know, multiple pots and pans and stuff gets in the camp stove. If you use those camp stoves, then you know. But the Scottle is really just about as easy as wiping it down, putting a little water on it, heating it up, wiping it down, and it's it's ready to go. There's a lot of pros to it. And so if, you, if you're up to spend the money, uh, it's a great way to go. Now, what do you have as your last gift idea? All right, I saved my I saved my favorite for last, and this one um, this one's going to appeal to you know somebody maybe who is thinking about documenting their trips. Obviously, we document our trips, and we uh, use a lot of different equipment. We have a drone, we have our cell phones, we have our main Sony camera that we're recording this on right now, but. There's one thing that we have that gets used more than all of those things. And I don't hear a lot of people talk about them, but these are incredible. And what I'm referring to is this. It's the DJI Pocket 2. And this thing is tiny, it's portable, it's gimbal stabilized with a 4K camera. And if you get it with the creator combo like we did, it's got some super cool add-ons as well. So if you watch any of our videos, probably 70% of what you're seeing is filmed on this little guy right here. Not the drone, 
not the main camera, this. Because of the gimbal stabilization, you're able to use it while moving. So if you're trying to walk and talk, all of our driving shots when we're driving and we're getting different footage, different B-roll, things like that, it's all with this and it's super stable. If I were to try to do this with the Sony camera, it would be it would be shaky. The creator combo that it comes with if you spend a little more, which by the way, I think this on its own is 349. And if you get it with the creator combo, then I think it's $500. But if you're gonna get it, I would just say get it with the creator combo. Comes with this wireless microphone, which you probably see me wear. Christine refuses to wear it. She absolutely hates it. Uh, it looks like <laughs> a bunny and yeah, no. <laughs> but it works really well. So this is really cool. And then it comes with a little tiny baby tripod. Let's see if I can get this off right here. But this little tripod is pretty cool. It folds out. So it gives you a base to put this on, set it on a rock or set it on the ground. And I like to use this because this will also do time lapses and more importantly than a time lapse, it'll do a motion lapse, which is awesome. So you can set this thing up and it'll just kind of slowly pan from one side to the other while doing a time lapse, which creates some really cool shots. I'll probably have some B-roll overlaid on top of this showing that off. But yeah, if you want to start documenting your trips or you just like tech, this thing is incredible. I do want to add, I'm usually the one that is holding the pocket. And um, while Jeff mentioned tech stuff, I'm not that tech savvy. <laughs> and the fact that I can use this with ease, I think is, is great. All right, so there you go. We've just shared 10 of our very favorite things that we bring with us on all of our trips with you. Hopefully by sharing these 10 things, at least one of these may be a good gift idea for that person you're looking to shop for. We'll be sure to drop the link for all of the items that we talked about uh, in the description below. That way you can get more information about them and know where to find them. And we should probably mention also, we're not affiliated with any of these brands. We didn't get sent any of these things. We bought all of these with our own money. We've tested them, we use them, and we just love them. Yep. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Yes, and if you like this video, check this one out next because you'll probably like it too.